Hey guys, it's National Average Seamus with Big Nick, Big Dick Nick. Fuck you me. You fucked it up. I did. <laughs> You've been planning that intro for like weeks now. Not weeks, days. It's a good joke. It is. It's a good joke. <laughs> big Nick Dick. <laughs> That's Dick, he's got the big nick. Anyway, welcome to Sidetracked. Again, uh, after a This is a why while. we don't prepare jokes. I'm no good at them. Yeah. Uh, it was funny when I first came up with it. Whatever. It was. Hey. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hope you're doing okay. Sorry for the delay again. There probably won't be one when you see this, because this will all go up in the span of, like, two weeks. But sorry that we were dead over the summer. That happens. It does. So, um... Today, we're going to be doing some more DSP stuff, because we like clickbait. And you know who else likes clickbait, Nick? DSP. No, this this, this fellow called KO Gaming. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't recognize this KO Gaming. Yeah, well, KO Gaming is here to bring us the, the, the hotness in, in video game opinions. Look at his sick fucking boxing gloves. Oh god, they're, those aren't even the right... Those are so photoshopped, because you know he doesn't own any. And they're the size of hands. Like, he's never seen a boxing glove Well, before. also, like... The ex... The glove... The, like, bottom of the glove that should go yeah. to your... The middle of your arm is at, like, his wrist and extends no, I know. forward. Because he just put them on his hands in the photoshop. And he's like... Yep, this is good. It's even better, though. His original um, logo was just a blue fist that looked exactly like the PewDiePie fist. And he's like... It's because it's going to knock you out. It's like, what the fuck are you doing, man? So Yeah, it's... You also, Nick, you see how it's called KO Gaming? You know what that stands for? I was just about to ask, is that King of Gaming? Yeah, because he's the king. Uh, yeah, so we're doing... Um, I you want can DSP read. to enter King of the Ring tournament. Oh, God. Kick his ass. Um, yeah, so King of Gaming basically is that he... He felt that... The DSP moniker was dirty. Was because soiled. Because it is by him. So he made a new um, persona, so to speak, that's not direct. I mean, it's related, but it's not directly related. It's supposed to be this kind of like its own channel. Uh-huh. So you could stumble upon it without seeing a shit ton of like, this is how you don't play. Look at DSP jacking off on stream and then denying it. And then um, embracing it. Yeah. So, fun times. This, yeah, this is this is supposed to be the channel where he actually um, does editing. Uh, we'll see how that actually works. I will say he's gotten better at titling stuff. If you scroll down to like the bottom, it's just the same font over a screen cap, and it looks horrendous, and you can't see anything. You know. Yep. Uh, as you go up, he gets a little bit better. He starts to learn how to starts to learn how to clickbait video screen he's not really that good at it yet but he's he's on his way i don't know anyway it's all clickbaity stuff um all right so <laughs> that part that has got edited out because it was just a bunch of dead air of me failing at a joke is over so now we can go into uh actual overwatch nick yes what's overwatch overwatch is blizzard's new team competitive shooter that oh, it's really fun and really cool. Have you played it? I don't know. Have we? I don't know. I asked if you have. Yes. Oh, you have? Yes. Oh, cool. Like just a little bit? Are you been putting some time into it? Or, I or put what? some time into it. Oh. Well, I guess you can be our tour guide then. Because um, I know everything about Overwatch. Yeah. And yeah, I don't you watch... know as much as you. You go on the YouTube and you look up all the little videos about like... How to do Genji boosts and fucking, like, high-level Lucio play. How to really Lucio. How to get Lucio. If you're still sticking around, we're about to watch. <laughs> One day we'll get to the video. Oh, man. This is getting edited down to shit. Yep. Let's Anyways. just fucking watch this. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, wait, we should preface this part, though, a little bit. Okay. Uh, this is... So, GSP wanted to hop on the Overwatch bandwagon because everyone loves Overwatch because it's a fun game. Everyone likes it. He um, decided he's going to do this by making a gameplay tips and tricks video, basically. Um, 
However, he is DSP. And I really think that's kind of the end of what I have to explain yeah, of why he's going to be bad. I mean, you've seen... Him play games. Yeah, you've seen him play games. You've seen us react to him play games. He... What this is either going, going to be from another source directly, oh, or yeah, it's yeah. just going to be asinine. And I See, think it's just going to be from another source. I didn't think of that. Oh, man, I hope it's his, it's his his genuine, real dude on the internet opinions, because it'll be great. Anyways, let's do it. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, on three. That was terrible. Ah, whatever. It's entertaining. All right. What is going on, everyone? Ooh, Phil he's got his YouTube voice on. Game. Phil. And if you're anything like me, he's this Phil past now. week you've probably been oh, okay, playing Phil. quite a lot of the new competitive first-person shooter from oh, Blizzard yeah. Entertainment. Oh, did you say he didn't want to play? He didn't want to buy the game because he had all the characters. Because he played all the characters in the beta. Studio. People yep. have been absolutely hype about it for months. It's finally here. Been hype. And so I decided to actually sit demo, down and take some time to record some of the best tips and advice that I can give oh, to people best. who may be relatively new to the game and maybe to people Everyone. who are playing it but need a little bit of help trying to figure out... At the out time, the release of this video, the game been out like a week. Out of which I'd yeah, say 10 to be fair, the, the beta has been... The cast. Like, the closed beta has been out with, forever. And I think I've learned enough okay. that I can lend you a little bit of knowledge and experience. So without further ado, here we go with my tips for Overwatch. Okay. First off, the biggest, most major piece of advice that I can give to anyone jumping into Overwatch from the get-go is, is to understand this is not Call of Duty or Halo. <laughs> this is not, at its core, a run-and-gun first-person shooter where you're going to be running it's, off and doing I things mean... solo and going all Rambo and gung-ho. Okay. This oh, game is about <laughs> There's no more Rambo. It's about Whoa, speed. graphics. Fact, on the character selection screen, when you're selecting your character... Is that why you... Like the healer were hiding in a room away from your entire team. <laughs> <laughs> right? He was trying to get so look at the healer. That was the clip he wanted to use for the teamwork. He was completely alone. His team was guarding the cart. What the fuck was he? He's Lucio. I don't know attractions to the game is that it's something different and refreshing it's not your typical first person shooter yeah, I, I thought know. that was an course, enemy trap and he was gonna get trapped hand hand uh -huh. also great clip of you walking to this over. right there's a more assault based in class which is about dealing damage. <laughs> enjoy it god damn it based class <laughs> okay i'm really glad these are like his genuine tips i was worried that could help in certain scenarios there's a defensive class it's just, characters who are more like tanks his tip is AP, enjoy the game have some other uses as well his tip course, is, this is a team-based game. The Here are, restore your like, and or buff your the classes. definition of classes. He's defining classes. He's defining other fucking than just classes. Damage. So that's a cool thing. It's and cool, guys. That's my watch, tip. This is cool. One of these kind <laughs> it's of fucking sets. hip. It's For fleek. Me, it's... I felt that oh, yeah, get on YouTube. I felt like maybe this match I want to support oh, my God. team. And this match I just realized, of course, he uses the fucking... And so it's cool that you have that variety. Commander Morrison. Yeah. Characters from the get-go. It might take you some time to fall into line with what you like, but over time, I think you're probably going to find someone that you do. Since Overwatch is primarily about teamwork, you oh, have teamwork. to find a way to communicate with your team. <laughs> Obviously, voice Hello. chat would be the easiest way to do that. Hello. Unfortunately, as we all know, there are some obnoxious people. Hello, thank you. My ultimate is charging. Hello. 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 Thanks. When you're trying to I understand. Imagine. Hello. So, Thankfully, Blizzard put in radial commands, which allow you to ask for <laughs> things such as healing. He's actually good talking. You, so he you is exactly talking about it. No. If a voice chat going on. Don't be afraid to use. Only these one gets used, and it's hello. You know what? Okay. For example, like okay, ultimate is characters. ready, is used. Um, same with I need healing. healing so can heal you. I never hear I need healing, or I hear from people who are like running, up, they're flanking on their own, and they're nowhere near the team. They're like, I need healing. It's like, okay, fuck you, too bad. So I do it in competitive, and I also like use the acknowledge thing to like go, yeah, I yeah. understand. Like, I'm gonna come and heal you, or I know you're ultimate. Ready, and I'm that is not what Overwatch is about. There's that said, classes 
based it around should be... just simply getting your team from point A to point B, or healing what? your team, or okay. buffing your team. Much like another sure. strategy-based game that Blizzard has made, Warcraft, you're going to have to try to make your teammates as viable as possible in certain situations. So, I understand that many people are just used to the, oh, I gotta go gung-ho, run He's it down, yeah, who's first that is. mindset, because that's what a lot of also, other games have done. Don't be afraid to delve into other I think, okay. classes and try I think when he's driving this home so much, overall, why did you use your alt there? You're probably going to like it. Whose advantage was that for? Let's get a little bit more specific I don't think anyone and start was talking about, about the individual classes. No. First, with the assault um, class. If you've played it, other run and gun I think he's stressing that so much Duty, because he took a long time a to figure that out. Familiar to you before you might jump into the more that varied characters of Overwatch. Soldier 76 right, now is going to be your best bet. He really is kind of like class. a classic okay. style military right. character, having an assault rifle that's good at even close and far range. He also has a little cluster missile which you can fire from time to time to deal a bit Oh, look at him being a cool guy doing 5 damage for the turret. At double speed of most other characters. Oh, he's going to take it. He's very maneuverable. Look at him killing that that Troborn any range by far his best ability is his ultimate by which him doing nothing lock on to anything in his field of vision and just okay fire away. You actually don't right, that's a bit be better at the characters you yeah be shitting them no matter what and this is great it basically turns soldier 76 into a one-man army you not gonna that can take out multiple people at once so again I, an easy character to jump in and learn i don't, from I don't the think you mentioned healing if you used That's... to play Quake back in the day, then I He's think gonna stress support, gonna be a character and then he immediately right talks about route. fucking not aware, Soldier, and does not bring up his one support move. ...the rocket jumping mechanics yeah. of games such as Quake 3 Arena and Unreal Tournament. Because Look she has a jetpack, at any that time she jump. can do this super Look jump him that using propels that jetpack. her into the air... Kind of really? To using oh my god, use the fucking jetpack. Why are you fighting a tank on the floor? The okay, there we go. Area of effect damage oh, look how adva advantageous that was. Time, which is really okay, so he used his jetpack and then landed back, and then jumped and used his fuel. Over an objective, uh, or if they're near a ledge, you can blow them off for an instant Just like you kill, failed to do. And then, of course, her ultimate, where she right. rains down missiles in a rapid pace. Well, I against strongly recommend these... every time you use Ferris wow. ultimate. Why did he use that clip? First, so that way you are hovering that was around terrible. You can actually auto-target all around a certain area. No, that was worse. Targeting, rather than you killed one ahead, guy and he flashed at you. No, no, the first one was worse. He was doing really his like ult against a group who were supercharged by Lucio. And then he got grabbed. definitely see the potential. It, Out of all the mm. assault classes, I actually like Tracer the best. Now, she's the character you've seen all over the promotional artwork and the advertisements of oh. Overwatch. And she really is refreshing because she's a totally new style of first-person shooting She's a character tall drink of water. Wait. She has three teleports stored at a wait, time. Wait, 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 wait. The screen to confuse has he enemies, never heard of the scout from TF2? Right through roadblocks mm. and other teleports hindrances that would hold back a lot of other yeah, characters. Yeah, a little, but it's the same basic shield. idea. So Run around, really beat annoyance, distract the bigger, like, crazier characters. enemy is building their defenses, yeah, yeah. teleport through them to get behind them, and then You do your damage over time while being almost impossible hit. incredibly unique. It allows her to rewind about Incredibly 10 seconds unique. of gameplay from where she presses the button. Why are you running at tanks? Why are you running at tanks? Backwards in time. Why are you running straight at tanks? I can teleport backwards. Health, but in that 10 like, and then he passed. So and then he goes straight, straight back in, in without his safety measure. And you start to attack them. Then they realize yeah. it. And they turn and start to shoot you. Hit rewind. This is and you all fighting with one Roadhog. Start out where you were from. Oh so like, it's okay. really cool. Yes, Tracer can go against bomb. tanks. Admittedly, that was a terrible throw. My aim is yeah. terrible. Think but I it. get what you're supposed to do. She teleport can't go against tanks, but she can't run at them. Hit that yeah, she needs to run around them, teleport past them. Yeah. Up, it's going to do area of effect damage to a lot of enemies, yeah. and you don't do a lot of damage while they can't radius. see you. I love Tracer. I want yeah, to play a hell of a lot more with her because she's so unique, and I just love it. Oh, he now, oh. Uh, support classes. Don't let's what he start said with Bastion. Wait, what about McCree yeah, or Reaper or Genji? That basically has been yeah, the what about Genji? Probably the most unique assault day. hero that Simply separates, only does you know, it from rifle, fucking Call of Duty the most. Heal himself at yeah. Any time, but he can turn I argue McCree is kind of, I mean, he's not that different, honestly, but I think he's kind of neat. Damage. Now, he's really useful for certain kinds of matchups. For example, I found like that what? in a payload matchup, when that payload is moving across the screen, if you could transform it to the turret on top oh, of the Oh, what payload, a unique move. And if your move. teammates actually support you with shields that... and healing, it could become almost unstoppable, leading to insanely high if, you, if your streamers do everything they really can to keep you safe, got it. 
are the more movable okay, so... characters like Tracer, who would be able to teleport behind him and because we're watching like this May, so late, that strategy stop that basically action. doesn't work so anymore. Bastion is really easy to use. No, deals no. tons of like damage, I would argue it didn't work that great to begin. It, it was successful annoying. To, uh, <laughs> yeah, shoot the nerf. Him, but he was shooting cool the character. fucking nerf. Now I tried to play with. It's glowing. It looks like it's gonna blow up. That means I'm winning. I'm just not good enough with the aim so far on console in order to get those one. Oh yeah, on console because you're such a like getting. famous one PC tip I gamer. Give for everyone, you're such a PC ultimate. pro. It's so That's why you're not good. playing the game it's on PC. It's a giant cluster of dragons that travels across the entire cluster. map you mean and two? does ridiculous amounts of damage. Two is a cluster. Passing through <laughs> walls. I've seen this ultimate completely turn matches around. So whenever you hear wow, an ultimate turning and matches the around. Dragons, if it's from the opposing team, get the hell out of the way. Yeah, all the ultimates now, are meant to turn the game. That's pretty unique. Is May. She relies solely on her capability to use ice to freeze opponents with her primary fire. Now, the problem that I have with May is that it doesn't really deal a lot of damage. <laughs> and in order to kill an opponent, what you really need to do is freeze them with the primary fire, then change immediately to your alternate fire, which is a more focused change? icicle, almost you like press a sniping button. shot. Yeah. Aim for also, the head. if you manage to freeze your opponent and they hell. lose a headshot with the icicle, like it's supposed you to not do them. that much damage because is, it only does you a fucking of damage, freeze a them. Certain of characters and yeah, defensive like, characters, they have too uh, much health for this to kill them. So in that role, what May really needs to do instead is just focus on freezing those characters. And why is he always going after Roadhog in the match? Because so that way the team gets killing him and he's annoyed. And I really feel that May at her core is meant to be more him. of a disruptive force than a destructive one. Her ultimate is really awesome. It's a huge area of effect freeze that comes out of a drone that she throws. And like, I'm I've tired of hearing the ultimate theme now. Or the, the, the fucking Overwatch theme has been going on for like 10 minutes. Yeah, this out, like... Completely freezes them all in place, and now you're you oh, look how much you took advantage of freezing them all. The match on its head. So he spray and pray Genji, and then they murdered his ass. A little bit more yeah. damage, so he froze like four people. And then it didn't matter. Now, admittedly, the class nope. I've played the least of is the defensive class, so really I'm only going to talk about a couple <laughs> characters. Well, wait, is he calling the tanks the defensive the class? class? Yeah. He's completely unique from everyone else because he's primarily focused on melee combat and doesn't melee. have a gun. The melee, yay. Yeah. Yeah. Melee. Easy, powerful shield. Oh. And one of his primary capabilities... I like Smash yes, Brow. block Winston. Block, block the Winston. Quick, block him. <laughs> Keep blocking him. Slowly across a map from point a to let, just look out. Just let him <laughs> chase your mercy. Damage. And if <laughs> oh, it's okay. Ryan He's keeping them safe with the shield. Team, he can become a disruptive dynamo, having no. so much health and shields that he can just rush in and slam... Oh, my God. He's a hammer heart. His other ability is... Oh, my God. He's a fucking hammer heart. Push enemies across the screen, slamming them against the yep. wall if you do connect with one, stunning them, and then allowing you really to do is. a follow-up hit or two pretty much... Like, did you really think he was going to use his shield? In most situations. I think he used it against the fucking Winston. Anyone, Ryan yeah, because he used it once, it didn't work, wall, he called it buggy bullshit, wall, and then he just tried to hit him right with a hammer. Cliff, leading to a suicide. So be very careful. His ultimate is nice as well it's a small also he's just talking about the characters he he's, he's making a tips and tricks and video he hasn't gone through the whole down, cast stunning them for a few no or at least and put have you a good a decent amount of time and, or research into them i'm going to also mention nick enemy, so far what what tips and or tricks does he offer it doesn't really lead to you being able to kill many people this is not call of duty you've got multiple people in front of you teamwork deal a lot of damage so be careful good job chasing the lucio you so bad at killing lucio Many kills in my oh How my are you God. bad at killing Mercy? Now the support class, the class that's not about getting kills, but more about making Wait, sure that your team is alive and healthy. Did we just see Reinhardt, who's the only tank the he talked about? Yep. That I've been playing the most with are Lucio. Why would you not play Symmetra, tanks? Tanks are the easiest to start playing. Different. Yeah. Lucio. Has the ability they're, they're the most comfortable as a beginner because you have so much health, you can actually feel like you can do things before you die. You Attackers are more high-risk, okay. high-reward. Hang, hang on. You can buff your entire team as long as you see them. them. Now, now watch me be in a box one-on-one -on -one in Genji. This is a class that's not about killing, but about helping. Or he can give them a healing God. boost, yeah. which is awesome. It's basically Because he knows that, but he can't... He, health, and this is frog can't change He's Lucio! He's got to rush in. He's fucking Lucio! 
doing? What is Lucio? Maybe attacking them. He's rushing in. So if you're actually That's playing the do. game and you notice your opposing team has a Lucio on it, you may want to make him a primary target because he's the one who's healing and buffing everyone. He's the at only one. Times. That lady I with really the wings. Like I don't know what she does. Especially because he also has the ability to knock people back. <laughs> an area of effect push that could push people. He's not healing legends. anyone his right now. No. He was far away from his team. By giving them all yeah. The food shield doing nothing. Boost. Oh no! Oh, that mercy is gonna kill. Reinhardt. Yeah. Got to use that charge, that boost to stop all these attacks. He's a really awesome character and in my opinion he actually is the best support in the game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not the one that fucking resurrects Symmetra. dead teammates. Now, let me tell you. A lot of people have come to me and said, who can Phil, buff don't damage. How to play Symmetra, and we've seen you try to play with like, her. Lucio is good. He's just not. Can you give us for tips, all right? It he's seems not the best to support. me, Symmetra is not meant to he's be just... a healer in any way, shape, or form. No. In fact, she doesn't have the ability to heal anyone. No, what you can think? Do is give a very small shield boost to each uh, character on your own team. A it's melee not a boost? One, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. I think primarily she's used for two things. What Number are you doing? Number one, her turrets. He's going to put turrets put on the door. Three turrets on any. Thing. A wall, yeah, that'll last. Okay. The floor, Their fucking the health thing is health, right at the, the door. That's gonna last even put it on five the seconds. Payload. And these turrets are it, great. Yeah, they just, auto target enemies as they These are great. By. Look, watch they me set up three. Out visually, so you may just accidentally not oh, realize there's a Oh, and his trouble doing fried. it at the door too. They're pretty useful. And one Look, of the let's watch how useful they are. Found for them is at the beginning of a match, especially if you're on the defense. This is oh a new tip. Enemy spawn. Look, you got one kill. Come out of the spawn door. Place three turrets around the door. So that just they can't three. See it on their way you're just out. buffing the Zarya. To three turrets, and for the first few seconds of the match, you're going to see two, three, four people die to these before they wow. even there. Wow. Two, three, or four people. Out. While they're doing that, what you huge numbers kills. you're getting so at the beginning? You can disrupt the entire first minute of the game with her turrets. And okay. It's oh my God. He, he's the kind of person who really says May should put an ice wall on the opening door. Yep. It disrupts them for a second. What it allows you to do is create a single second that you can place. This will help us win. Now, one of the this will help us. That I have with Overwatch is that when you give die, them you shields run from that original spawn point, give them shields, them shields to where the action is. It takes so one second to give them a shield. To teleport wherever Symmetra puts it down. What the so fuck? It doesn't even interrupt your thing. Ultimate, run one or two rooms away from where the action is. Oh my yeah, gosh. He put his teleport so it faces away from the door and everyone is just ready to fucking plow down anyone in that room. Where we've literally only won the match because Symmetra is teleporting people right into the thick of things it's really useful but be careful where you put it because if you put it out in the open people will destroy it easily and then you like you did your ultimate like As you did weapon, you put it well, right the in the doorway fire is a where people can see it beam. you have to be pretty close to your enemy but it locks on you don't even have to be aiming at them you just that's why dia's good luck sir and this constant yeah. stream of damage will be dealt it's actually <laughs> you can't put it out in the open <laughs> let me with okay. also they're gonna walk the reaper that do you not realize the fucking arrow on the teleporter no a lot of people don't though like so it's really it's more of an insult to everybody fire is also great you charge it with your left trigger and when they give zenyatta Shields. Fully Give anyone a shield. Damage per blast. Why are you not giving? Almost Does he think? Okay, Trouble is a shield. Those don't. So I assume either he thinks they keep it forever, or it's gonna miss and then boom. Hit you right in the face. It's really good. No. And it's one of the things I really what? like using. Who with thinks Symmetra. it's gonna miss? No one thinks it's gonna miss. A very unique character. They don't see it because there's a million things going. Give styles, your tanks shields. And I think that like her if you Give do any bit of time one in. shields. Oh my god. Well, that's about all that I've gotten for you right now. I've only played the game for a few sessions during the beta that happened early in May, and I've played it about three or four sessions this launch week. I so do what, plan like on playing more Overwatch hours, in the future, especially when the new characters are released, and I will be also so kind of giving my take on the new characters and dlc maps and such in oh the man uh, i hope everything that this on, video on. is enough to at least help you out again whether you're a beginner or someone who's jumping in okay the Nick. And trying to but dsp i want to play genji and let Fuck me know you. in the comments if you found this video useful if you did i may oh, make more tutorial oh, and tip okay. style videos like this in the future thanks a lot for watching everyone comments. i hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please consider giving it a like here right, on youtube also, be sure to check the video Still description, talking. where I have several links, the first of which will actually lead you straight to my playlist okay, of he's gameplay just, from yeah, launch he's week. Just you can watch all of my raw matchups and see all yeah, the stuff that happened to me um, firsthand if you like. All right, so, in addition, please check the first out the comment Amazon is associate first. link, as well as my Patreon we got, uh, link, which on is patreon.com three seconds not ten. slash darksidephil. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you later with more on KO Gaming. Overwatch Game. tips. Don't send anything DSP says. There are no more tips. <laughs> Uh...
And there's just people taking the sh- taking the piss out of him. Yeah. It's all just piss. Yeah. Um, I just <sighs> he's trying to jump on the fad. He's trying to do like the whole I I'm I know what I'm doing. Let me give you some tips. Nick, what did we actually? What did you learn? Okay. Well, I have to think of this from the perspective of someone who is, you know, jumping into Overwatch. I have something on that though. Well, I'm thinking. You go first. You go first yeah. Um. So Metro's turrets are, are all right. But that's contradicted by his gameplay, in which they kill one person and then are immediately destroyed. Destroyed. I will say, his gameplay showed that Soldier and Hanzo have good ults. That's about it. He's pretty accurate about Soldier, except they didn't bring up the healing pod. He, he doesn't seem to think about healing at all. If we're talking about being a support player, he, just knows, he doesn't support anyone who's not himself. He, he likes Lucio, because Lucio's constantly healing himself. Yeah. You know? And he can push people away from him and let other people deal with them. I would say, if you were just jumping into this, this is a terrible video. Yes, Seamus, we know. Everyone knows. Yeah, that's fair. But here's why. It doesn't explain the game if I was a beginner. If I was a, if I was a complete beginner, I, I would still be confused because he doesn't tell me how the game, how you win a match, what your goals are. He told me it's not Call of Duty, you want to do teamwork. I think he mentioned, like, payloads, but he didn't really go, you want to do this before this, what the other team's trying to do. Now let's talk characters. On that if note, I'm, um, yeah. he also, he talks to the audience like they're just absolutely complete beginners, that they don't know that this is a team shooter, um, yeah. but then he doesn't even take the time like he talks about the most basic thing it being a team shooter but he doesn't then take time to explain objectives exactly that's what i'm saying he doesn't he he's the video is true beginner is not beginner enough for beginner but then he's trying to sell the tips video for some cool tricks and it's like well duh i know this you know one like after the beta i knew this you know after touching after touching the character in training mode once i knew this yeah if you're going to make a beginner guide, you need to focus more as a beginner, and it's terrible for that. It's just this nebulous cash grab. He wanted to make a video that could could hone in on this Overwatch popularity, and this is what he got. He couldn't think of anything original, so he started up the game. He pressed, what is it, right trigger, left trigger, or not uh, left or right on the D-pad, and he looked at that. He, he took out a pen jacked off once or twice, and then wrote down turret. Give she... Nah, that's not useful. Crosses that out. Ginge... No, who'd want to hear about that? It, it just, it's just verbatim what the characters do in the game, but it's spoken from somebody who's seen that, but not really played the game enough or intently enough to, to learn how they actually work. So he, he knows... Tracer has good movement and teleportation, but he has not yet put it together in how to capitalize on that. He knows Tracer has good movements and teleportation, but he only circle strafes a Reaper. He knows yeah. that Reinhardt has a really good shield, good, great for protecting his team, but he never pulls it up. He knows that Lucio can heal everyone within Lucio's line of sight, but he's always yeah. trapped and away from his team. Yeah, he he's he, he he knows the basics, but he hasn't played the game enough to really figure it out. He doesn't understand it. No. He knows no. information, but he doesn't have that inherent knowledge of like, okay, yeah. my play style is going to be different when I'm this character compared to this character. Yeah, he can't change it around. His... And and you don't necessarily need to to play the game. The game can be fun if you don't even if you don't change your style ever, you just have to pick characters who work with your style. Yeah. You know? there's, there's a good body of characters for almost every style in that game. I'm surprised he didn't like Junkrat more. I, I'm i not, because Junkrat's a little funky, you know, with the lobs. I'm surprised he doesn't like Troborn. Because he could brag about how huge his dick is. No, with no, I, I know exactly why he doesn't like Troborn. Why? Because he walks in front of Troborn's turret and then dies and then complains that he's too overpowered. 
No, but then he he would want to pick him up and use him. No, 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 no. I don't think so. I don't. No? I think he's the kind of guy, and I feel like this is true from watching his Street Fighter stuff, where you know he'll think a character is busted and just hate that character forever. Oh, so Trouble's doing online combos. Yeah. Okay. Yet he likes Bastion. Like, especially early Bastion was so overpowered, nerfed his character, Blizzard. Remember when teams used to be comprised of, like, one or two Bastions, and everyone would have the hardest time with them? Yep. And now you rarely see a Bastion, it's like, oh, hey, there's a Bastion over there. He killed me twice, let me go kill him. Yeah. Because now everyone knows what to do against him. Yeah, yeah. But, like, this, he he filmed this in in the early days. I'm surprised he didn't like Bastion more, because you could just point and shoot, you know? Yeah. Wow. Anyways, this has been our video. Yes. It's been you. We've all been people. Kisses. Bye.